Since it has been a couple of years since Huawei introduced its laptop lineup, it came as no surprise to us when we received an invite to pick up the Honor Magic 50 notebook for our testing. And judging from the mobile phone market, well-known brands in the mobile PC industry should pay attention since it wouldn't be wise to ignore this new player entering the field. You already know that Honor is the daughter brand of Huawei, whose devices often have almost the exact same specs as Huawei flagship models, but at a more affordable price. They're intended for a younger audience that accepts changes faster and is not bound by traditional brands and is often ready to try something new. This is exactly the essence of Honor laptop that we're presenting you today. So would you buy an Honor notebook? I'm sure you don't have the answer straight away. The dilemma is due to the fact that most people don't even know that Honor produces this type of devices. But on the other hand, if you had experience with Honor mobile phones, you know that these are great devices with an affordable price. The fact that Honor notebooks are not available on every market worldwide does not help, so this is an exclusive opportunity to present a real novelty and see how good it actually is. The packaging usually reveals some first information about the device, and in this case it is the usual size as on the other 15-inch devices, but visibly thinner and lighter. When we open it up, we find a large and light device, representative of the new wave of ultralight portable PCs that are reminiscent of Ultrabooks. Practically, the limit between a laptop and an Ultrabook seem to disappear with a device like Magic Book 15. The laptop weighs only one and a half kilo despite the abundance of aluminum surface. The chassis frame is made of magnesium and lithium, which results in a firm housing that seems very strong when you carry it around. And with the weight of just one and a half kilos, this laptop is definitely made to be carried easily. It is only 1.7 centimeters thin, 36 centimeters wide, and 23 centimeters deep. The Honor Magic Book 15 uses a 15.6 inch screen with about 5 mm thin frames, so you get the impression that the entire surface is covered by the IPS panel. With a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels, it offers plenty of screen real estate and a very comfortable experience, much better than a similar 14 inch notebook models. The IPS panel provides large viewing angles and more intense colors. The surface of the screen is matte, which is a must for any laptop intended for work outside the home or office. Text display is clean and clear, though the measurements have shown that the maximum brightness reaches a value of 225 nits, which can be a problem if you use the laptop in the bright daylight. The subjective feeling that the contrast is not very high was also confirmed by measurements, but on the plus side we did not notice any backlight bleeding. The screen supports blue LED backlight filtering, which can make the display easier on the eyes for prolonged use. The hinges allow you to tilt the screen back by a maximum angle of 150 degrees. The back of the screen is made of aluminum and space gray, a darker shade of aluminum with the Honor logo and a beautiful edge in a crystal blue shade obtained by a special processing with a diamond blade. A really nice detail that gives it more exclusive look and breaks the annoying mutual resemblance that most of the models in this class have in a race to bring down the price as much as possible. Honor has obviously owned the craft of their mobile phones, so it successfully applies it to this case as well. With such thin bezels around the screen, we did not immediately notice the webcam and microphone because they have an extremely unusual position on this device. Namely, the webcam is located at the top row of the keyboard in the form of a pop-up key, so while talking on Skype or Discord, keep in mind that the other person will be looking at you from below, more precisely at your chin. The stereo microphones are placed in the stylized notch on the front, which serves to make it easier to open the screen. Interestingly, the camera button hides the drainage channel, which, in case you spill water on the camera, will conduct it under the computer, in order to avoid damage to the sensitive electronics. Of course, in any case, it is not recommended to spill water on the keyboard because you risk causing a short circuit and permanently damaging your computer. This device uses chiclet buttons with a large rectangular contact surface and a shallow but clear accutation mechanism. Unfortunately, there is no backlight on the keys, a detail that is very important to many when it comes to working in low light conditions. We see some of the similarities with Apple MacBook models in the absence of the numpad, a large side surfaces, and on the right there is a round power button with a fingerprint reader, a security function that you can activate with the Windows Hello function. The large touchpad is located between the zones that serves as a palm rest. It is precise, pleasant to touch, and supports multi-finger gestures. 
In the lower part, by default, there is a seesaw that serves as a left and right mouse click. The brain of the Magic Book 15 is a mobile energy efficient variant of the AMD Ryzen 5 3500U APU with 4 physical and 8 logical cores and a maximum operating frequency of 3.7 GHz. As you probably know, this processor has Zen Plus cores made in 12 nanometer process and this APU model also integrates a Vega 8 graphic core with 512 shader units that uses a part of the system memory for graphical operations. The computer is equipped with 8GB of DDR4 memory at 2400 MHz configured in dual channel mode to achieve better performance. The data storage is entrusted to the Western Digital SN720 SSD device with a capacity of 256GB, which is the bare minimum for comfortable work on a mobile computer. Fortunately, you can easily replace it with a larger one if you need to. It is fast enough in real use scenarios to provide a sense of snappiness and almost instantaneous response. Internet connection is provided by Realtek Wi-Fi adapter with 802.11ac specs and 2x2 MIMO functions which enables a continuous connection with two devices simultaneously. It works well with wireless routers recording an average of 30 megabytes per second of data transfer in our tests. Bluetooth 5.0 wireless connection is now a pretty standard feature and lets you connect various peripherals and accessories. The sound is provided by a Realtek audio codec with a software that allows a control of all the settings within the Windows operating system. By the way, the Magic Book 15 produces unusually loud sound for this class of device, which many users will certainly be able to appreciate. As for the connections, on the right side there is one USB-C which doubles as a charging port and has an LED indicator, one USB-A 3.0 port and HDMI 2.0 for connecting external screens. On the opposite side we find one USB-A 2.0 connector and a 3.5mm headphone and microphone jack. Magic Book 15 comes with a lithium-ion battery with a capacity of 3,665 mAh, which according to our measurements provides autonomy of 4 hours and 15 minutes of continuous operation in real-world applications, and not some synthetic tests. With notebooks, the usual claim of an all-day autonomy has a different meaning than in the world of mobile phones. When plugged in, the power is provided by an external 65 watt power adapter, which interestingly is shaped very much like a mobile phone charger. It supports the fast charge function, so it will charge half the battery capacity in half an hour. And it takes up to an hour and 17 minutes for it to reach the maximum capacity. If the operating environment is warmer, the charging process may take longer than the specified period. We measured the highest total consumption of 64 watts when playing games, and in order to achieve better performance, it is recommended to connect the computer to the power adapter. By the way, the AMD Ryzen 3500U draws only 12.5 watts of energy and reaches 74 degrees Celsius in longer gaming sessions. It is cooled by a solution based on the centrifugal fan, heat pipe system, and passive heat sinks. It is quite quiet in use and most of the time it is almost noiseless with 33 decibels of noise emitted. It is also worth mentioning that the body of the Magic Book 15 does not heat up as much. In the warmest zone of the exhaust vents at the bottom of the screen we measured 41.5 degrees Celsius which under the fingers at the zone of the ASD and JKL buttons we measured 40 and 34 degrees respectively. The left side of the device is warmer than the right due to the position of the APU processor. The palm rest zones are impeccably warm with measured 34 and 29 degrees Celsius on the right side respectively. We like that the Honor did not go overboard with any additional junk software. They installed a clean version of Windows Home 10 OS, with only addition being the Honor Magic Link 2 software that provides special benefits for Honor mobile smartphone users, offering cross-operation and data synchronization between the notebook and the phone in just one touch. You can quickly transfer photos, videos, music, and documents from your phone to your computer. All this is achieved wirelessly without the need of the USB data cable. This feature relies on the NFC function which needs to be supported by the phone and requires a presence of EMUI 10 or later OS version. The computer as a support for this software has a dedicated function key as well as a special shortcut icon in the far right corner of the taskbar. Do not delete it in any way, otherwise the magic link function will not work properly. Access to the expansion bay is easy. All you have to do is loosen the screws on the back cover with the Torx 5 screwdriver and you can access the M.2 SSD and the Wi-Fi adapter, but not the system memory. 
Although this is a previous generation of AMD APU 12 nanometer platform, which definitely lags behind in terms of performance behind the 10th generation of the ultra efficient Intel Core processors, subjectively, you're not likely to notice a difference in use, at least when it comes to common applications like Microsoft Office programs, browsing the internet, video calls, watching movies in 4K or Full HD, playing YouTube clips and similar not too demanding tasks. A sufficient amount of properly configured system memory and a well-balanced APU processor with the Vega 8 graphics makes up for the somewhat weaker processor, especially in programs that support GPU acceleration operations. Of course, the presence of the SSD NVMe device with an above average performance also helps in terms of the overall speed. Magic Book 15 lags behind the recently tested Acer Swift 3 models based on the 10th generation Intel Core processors by 30 to 50% but it is significantly better and faster in gaming, so much so that the aforementioned Acer has no chance with this weak Intel HD graphics. Compared to the Acer Aspire 315 model that uses the same platform, the Magic Book 15 is faster by 25 and even in some situations up to 50% thanks to the better tuned system configuration. Speaking of gaming, the Magic Book 15 achieves an average of 25 frames per second in Apex Legends and 47.5 in Fortnite at low to medium settings of graphical details and 1080p Full HD resolution. All things considered, Honor did a very good job with this Magic Book 15 model. So good that many established brands in the laptop industry could take notes from this first time laptop manufacturer. Not in terms of ultimate power, but the brilliant ratio of features performance, and price. This last factor is crucial when making the final purchase decision and the price tag starts around 600 euros or roughly $700, which is a very good offer considering, say, a 14-inch Acer Swift 3 that we recently tested. For that reason, the award goes to this device for the excellent value for money award. Acer is faster in application tests, but seriously slower in gaming while having a smaller screen and is far more expensive with a price tag of 800 euros. Honor Magic Book 15 has a great advantage in this direct metering because it's equally light, has an incomparably clearer screen and a larger workspace, better keyboard, better appearance, equal autonomy and a stronger sound. And that's the Honor recipe that paved the way for it in the mobile phone market. It seems to be implementing the same strategy in the laptop market as well. It is definitely not burdened with the wide range of models in its portfolio, but instead it accurately hits the sweet spot in terms of needs of its target group of customers. In this case, it's the user who often stays out of the house and office or carries their notebook on the field or on vacation. As for the already established brands in this industry, they should not turn a blind eye on the appearance of the new competitors because Honor is obviously intent on taking on the leading brands. They already succeeded once, so what's to say that they may not do it again? Thank you once again for watching a Bench House review, this time featuring Honor Magic Book 15 laptop. My name is Marco and your subscribe would be much appreciated. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to drop a like and comment below, and I will see you next time.